Something they don't tell you when you order your first batch of vanilla beans is how addicting it is. I'm on my third batch of vanilla extract and I'm going to show you how easy it is. Hey friends, it's Barbara Sue at Kowalski Mountain and yes, I'm on my third batch of vanilla extract and I said when I did the last batch that I wouldn't need to do any more, but I had three empty bottles and I decided I would order just enough to fill my empty bottles and that's what I'm doing today. Now the first batch of vanilla extract I made was in November of 2022 and this is made with Indonesian beans with Everclear. This batch is really starting to come to some flavor. Now every once in a while when I think about it, I go ahead and give this jar a shake and it's really starting to get some nice color to it. It's finally getting a brown color so where it actually looks like vanilla extract. Now it still smells pretty alcoholy, and this was made in November and it's currently April. It's only five, that's only five months and it does take at least a year for the vanilla extract flavor to really permeate the alcohol. So I just keep this on the shelf, give it a little shake on occasion to keep this process going. Now the next batch I made, I did these at the beginning of the year. I think in January, maybe February. And I have a little project planned for these, which is why I did them. Um, and so I have the six little bottles and I made these with rum, which was different than what I had done the first time. Now what they don't tell you when you start making vanilla extract is that once you start, you wanna try different beans, you wanna try different alcohol combinations. I have bought more alcohol in the last six months than I've ever bought in my whole life just making vanilla extract. Now today I'm going to fill up my bottles and this is going to be the last batch for a while. And that's my final word on that. Now today I thought since I was doing it I would try something a little bit different. Now I'm also I'm going to be using the rum today with a mixture of Everclear and I have purchased Indonesian grade A vanilla beans and I'm going to do a double fold batch. So that means I'm going to be using double the vanilla beans that you would use for a single batch. Now the first thing we need to do is we need to dilute the alcohol. When you're making vanilla extract, you want to work with as close to 100 proof as you can. And when you're using rum, this is an 80 proof alcohol. I have to mix it to increase that alcohol content. And I'm going to do that with Everclear. Now, I buy my vanilla beans from a private Facebook group, Indies Vanilla Beans, and this is a really great resource for anything vanilla extract that you want. My friend Julie from Capturing Wonderland has published a really great post on her blog all about how to make uh, vanilla extract, and she's actually the one who gave me kind of the confidence to kick it off and give it a try. Now the Facebook group that I use to purchase all of my beans, it's a private Facebook group and it allows you to buy vanilla beans at a much lower price. Now they're also a great resource for anything you want to know vanilla. I was struggling with the math on how to mix the rum and the Everclear to make 100 proof. So I went to the Indies Facebook group and I started searching the files and I found a really great chart that gave me exactly what I needed to be able to dilute my alcohol correctly. So let's check out this group and the resources I found. It's in Jerry's Vanilla Bean Group. And this is a great resource for vanilla at a much cheaper price. Now, one of the other things that I found in here is the dilution chart for the rum and the Everclear. So to find that, I'm going to come here to the file section. And I'm going to scroll down to the chart. The file that you want is the screenshot 100 proof which was posted on October 21st, 2021 by Kim here. Now, if you download this screenshot, 
this shows you how to dilute your rum to your Everclear. So you just need to determine the proof of your alcohol, be it rum or another kind, and also the proof of your Everclear. And this tells you how to mix it, which is how I was able to come up with the formula that I used in my vanilla extract. Now the bottles I'm using today are 11 ounce bottles. And so I'm going to be mixing my alcohol to, for that. Now I'm going a little bit under, knowing that the beans are going to take up space in those jars. So I need 23 ounces of rum. And I need five ounces of Everclear. Now I'm going to give this a stir and we're going to give this about 15 minutes to do whatever it does chemical wise before we move on to the next step. Now there's several different ways that you can prepare your beans. Some people like to split the beans. They take a knife and they split them. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave them um, intact. I'm going to cut them in half so they'll fit into the bottles a little bit better, but I'm not going to split the beans and that's because after I've made the vanilla extract, I can take the beans out and I can use the little um, seeds that are inside for other purposes. So I don't want to lose them. I want to keep them intact in my vanilla beans. So today we're just going to cut these in half and put these into our bottles. Now remember, we're doing a double fold vanilla. So I'm using twice as many vanilla beans as you would need for a regular batch of vanilla. In a regular batch of vanilla, you would only use six to eight vanilla beans. So we are really going to double this up. Now when I was reading about double fold extract, I read that double fold is the kind preferred by pastry chefs and also candy makers. They like that stronger double fold vanilla. So I'm really curious to how this is going to come out. Now the glass bottles I'm using, it's preferable to use an amber colored jar for your vanilla beans. It helps protect that from the light. I also keep them in a dark area. My big bottle I keep in a dark cabinet and these smaller bottles I'm keeping actually in the box that they came in. Um, and I just go out every once in a while and I pick up the box and I shake the whole box to shake all the jars inside. And I do have them wrapped in the bubble wrap that they came in, so they're not clanging against each other. All right, now that alcohol needs about 10 more minutes, so we're going to come back for the next step. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes, so we're going to go ahead and fill up the bottles with alcohol. Now the amber bottles are really hard to fill because you can't see through them as well, so you really want to watch so that you don't overflow them. I am going to put a link to these bottles down in the description box. These are called a beer bottle. Um, they're really nice because of the lids 
that self attach and hold on. Um, I really liked them for this purpose. So let's go ahead and get these filled up. Now we're just going to cinch down this bottle. And that's all there is to it. There. Now the next step, I'll be sure to label these with the type of beans and alcohol that I used, as well as the date so that I know when it's ready. And that's all there is to it. The hardest part is the waiting game until it's ready. Well friends, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you want to learn more about making vanilla extract, be sure to check out my friend Julie's blog post at Capturing Wonderland. She has a really great uh, resource all about vanilla, uh, everything you want to know about it. And she actually gave me the confidence to give this a try. So be sure to check it out. We appreciate you watching. We're almost to our goal of 1,000 subscribers. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit that button. We can't make it without you. We'll see you next time.